Aquarius, you need to know this right now for September the 13th through September the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for September the 13th through September the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for September the 13th through September the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for September the 13th through September the 14th. 2024 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals aquarius you need to repent and get your life together if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It could symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that, you know... There's a sense of the unknown here and you're having to wait, maybe waiting for an answer. You could also tell me that you're using your intuition that maybe you need to wait. You could also tell me that, you know, something may be going on with your coins here, Aquarius. You could also tell me that a secret came out here. And you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Aquarius, you have the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the magician. This is you, Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the magician 
for Aquarius. Clarify the magician for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the magician for Aquarius. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aquarius, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. For Aquarius, clarify the tower. For Aquarius, clarify the tower. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aquarius, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the page of wands. For Aquarius, clarify the page of wands. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aquarius. Clarify the sun for Aquarius. Clarify the sun for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. So Aquarius, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Aquarius, listen. You can tell me that there was some type of shocking shakeup, shocking revelation, and a breakup. Something was illuminated here that you guys may have had an argument over, but they're apologizing. And your answer may be, uh, I'm thinking we're going to miss that cup. I think, you know, I don't want to do this again. I don't, you know, I don't want the cup. Aquarius, you could also tell me the same has happened, that something was illuminated, something came to light. You guys had a heated discussion, an argument, and as you may be contemplating and using your intuition about apologizing, you just have this fear it won't be accepted. Aquarius, you can tell me this shocking shakeup, shocking revelation, the cause of a breakup is something being illuminated and very well could be because we found passionate messages and we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love with someone else. And you could be feeling a sense of rejection here, Aquarius. 
and you feel like, you know, you need to take some time out to ask, do you want to go back there again? Do you want to get back involved with this person? Aquarius, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' as a relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Aquarius, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Aquarius, I feel like you have to pass your judgment or decision here. And you can tell me you're waiting, you're waiting and using your intuition. Because, you know, you may not want the cup. Aquarius, you can tell me your judgment is, your judgment and your final answer is to turn your back on the situation and look to see what else is out there. Aquarius, you have the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aquarius, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or contract collaboration or there's a third party Aquarius, you're in your head about this. You're in your head about it, okay? Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're in your head about them having a third party here, okay? Because this could be the shocking revelation and what's being revealed here, this secret. You could also tell me that you're in your head about whether or not you want to work things out with this person. Could be some deep contemplation going on concerning it. And the reason why you may want to wait before you give your judgment because you're in your head about it. Aquarius, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a Ten, so this is an ending. You want to release this burden. So Aquarius, you're telling me that something is difficult here. Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the Hermit for Aquarius. Clarify the Hermit. For Aquarius, clarify the hermit. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. 
Aquarius, you can tell me that you need some time alone to really do some introspection, soul searching concerning the situation. You can tell me you're burdened by the fact that there was lies and illusions and the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Aquarius, you could also tell me that this is a tough choice to make. You have to make a choice or a decision here, a judgment here. And it may be a tough judgment or decision here. Aquarius, you could also tell me that you thought long and hard about it. And you're just releasing this burden and you're ready to look to see what else is out there. Your judgment could be that I want to look to see what else is out there and turn my back on this whole situation. I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner, Aquarius. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says addict. Are you dealing with an addict or what? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to also take a look at the hidden truth oracle for you and your partner, Aquarius. And it says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for September the 13th through September the 14th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.